What's going on there, folks? Good morning, good afternoon to a few out there. It is the Earth Master back here on this Thursday, October 19th, 2023. It's about 11.18 a.m. here at California time. Uh, seismograph stations out there look pretty calm for the most part across the globe. A couple small spikes of an earthquake there across the Petrolia Station in Northern California. A look at the Earthquake 3D globe here shows a 2.5. And uh, we got one more earthquake out there. It looks like a 4.0. Uh, coming in for the latest earthquake activity. Uh, this 4.0 coming in into the New Zealand area, it looks like, just now as we speak. Uh, I'm trying to think, do I have a New Zealand station up here? That's one that I'm missing. At least far as, uh, there it is, a little bit further down the list here. Looks like the Hot Caves Hawaii station is offline. Uh, so we'll have to get to that a little bit later. For now, there's that earthquake showing up on the New Zealand station. 4.0 at um let's see how deep this thing is 149 kilometers deep there they have been seeing a little trend of deeper movement quakes around that area of new zealand uh could be associated with the hikarangi subduction zone we'll take a look at that here in just a little bit looking at the u.s or the um yeah usgs map here past 24 hours of earthquake activity uh, largest magnitude, let's see what we got here in the last 24 hours, shows that 5.3 Kermadec Islands from yesterday. As uh, far as today goes, we did see a 5.2 over here around the Java Trench, 59 kilometers deep here uh, into the area of the Indonesia Islands region. Uh, aside from that, a lot of the earthquake activity from yesterday. Let's go ahead and start over here across the west coast, see what we have going on in Nevada, getting a little swarm of activity here. Firing up outside of the Reno and Sparks area. Uh, this region did see a little earthquake swarming here. This whole region has seen an earthquake swarm uh, in the past few months or so. Uh, looks like these little spotty areas of swarming are popping up from time to time. Uh, this area around the Sun Valley, Spanish Springs area, has seen a couple threes so far in the last 24 hours. The largest, a 3.6, along with quite a few twos and ones out there. Uh, so just kind of keep an eye on this area. Reno Sparks area can see some larger earthquakes out here. It's been a little while since we've seen any large-scale movement take place here around the Reno area. So continue to watch that. Also some activity stirring up here underneath the Lake Almanor area late last night. A couple twos stirring up. All this activity inland and away from the plate boundary has uh, pretty much kicked up following that four-pointer. You guys remember that four-pointer that struck here? Oh, a day or so ago. Let me bring back up the uh, map here. It's going to be this earthquake that uh, struck around the Rio Vista area early this mor uh, early yesterday morning. That's why we haven't seen it. I uh, didn't see that on the map here for the 24 hour because it's past that threshold. Uh, so that earthquake yesterday, ever since then, uh, we noticed uh, an uptick here across the um, inland areas of the North American plate, indicating possibly uh, quite a bit of constrained um areas around the plate boundary so we'll continue to watch that here across the bay area san andreas fall of course is uh sleeping for now not a whole lot going on in southern cal uh got two little earthquakes here in the salton sea area stirred up uh just after midnight my time couple ones it looks like that's on the brawley seismic zone but awfully close to the san andreas fault that's the southern branch up here that's uh definitely constrained in uh no doubt Overdue, big time, for a large earthquake. Uh, one earthquake up here into the Northern California area just after midnight as well. 2.3, 19 kilometers deep here. That is associated with the Cascadia subduction zone with that type of deeper movement. Pacific Northwest, relatively quiet. Not seeing anything showing up there on the map. Yellowstone overview. Well, there's not a whole lot showing up, but we're going to double check that and make sure that things are being reported. If not, then I will definitely report them. Not a whole lot of earthquake activity to report out there, it looks like. All the seismograph stations there look uh, fairly calm for now. The rest of the country, one earthquake up here in South Dakota. 2.7 just after, uh, well, about almost 2 a.m. in the morning here, local time, my time. Uh, it's somewhat of a rare, odd earthquake up here. I don't really see too many earthquakes up here in this area of the of the states let's see what's out there i'm kind of curious to see if we got anything unusual there at the surface levels 
whole bunch of farmland out there. I know South Dakota is absolutely beautiful. Uh, get some cold, brutal winters, but hey, that's what firewood and a fireplace and a chainsaw and all that stuff is for. Looks like this occurred next to these folks' house. Doesn't look like any oil fields out there. Um, but about 10 kilometers underneath this area. So I'll just kind of watch that, see if anything stirs back up. As uh, far as fault systems go, I don't think there's a whole lot of uh, potential faults out there. Look at the hazard map. Shows certain areas here to the west of this earthquake today, a 2.7, uh, being in that uh, potential hazardous zones for earthquake activity. But uh, like I say, we don't get too much earthquake activity in that area of the country. Down here in the oil fields, of course, lots of earthquakes there overnight and yesterday. Outside of Pecos, Texas, this is the, uh, well, I want to zoom in and look here. This land is littered with uh, all these oil fields, all these little ponds, wastewater disposal facilities. And I'm sure there's some new facilities out here as well. This one looks fairly new with some tanks on it. That's where that earthquake activity is occurring today. And will no doubt continue into the future. A um, little bit of activity down outside of San Antonio and one earthquake here across the Appalachian Mountains. Let's see here, 1.9. That's from yesterday. Puerto Rico Trench was watching this last night. Looks like we got a little bit more earthquake activity stirring up out here across this area of the Puerto Rico Trench. The latest one, uh, 3.5, 34 kilometers deep, just shy of the plate boundary here. Continue to watch that for some potential movement. 4.4 in the uh, Dominican Republic area. That's from yesterday. Pretty deep though, 135 kilometers deep. Looks like a little activity stirring up here into the Middle America Trench as well. The latest shows a 4.6 there off the coast of Nicaragua into the Middle America Trench there at about 63, uh, 63 kilometers deep. South America, we got uh, 3.2 coming in right now to the Earthquake 3D Globe. That looks like 199 kilometers deep for that earthquake. handful of uh, smaller quakes in there uh, into the Peru Chile Trench as well. Let's see what we got going on across Hawaii. Still waiting on that thing to kick up, but of course variations in inflation and magma movement below. Um, basically when we see these earthquake swarms kick up, we know that magma is on the move, but right now things are tapering off um, for the most part. As far as that earthquake swarm and the magma movement underneath this area. Uh, let's go ahead and check out, see if the USGS has put out the notification yet. Nope, that's from yesterday. Uh, we'll go ahead and check out the graphs ourselves here at the Kilauea Volcano on the Big Island. See if anything is uh, brewing out there. We know it's brewing. It's just got these uh, periodically quiet spells and uptick spells. But right now, I think we're a little on the quiet zone definitely look at this so yesterday last night during the update we've seen this huge inflation trend along with earthquake activity right we've kind of seen earthquake activity kick up along with this uh and today shoop, a sharp decline in activity and that has a lot to do uh with the magma underneath this area and of course the adjustment around the plate boundary itself does have a lot to do with um, what's going on underneath the, the uh, Pacific Plate in general. Uh, see if there's a whole lot of squeezing going on in this uh, along the plate boundaries that could put uh, an area underneath the Hawaii Islands or any region underneath the Pacific Plate underneath a more magma uh, strain. Uh, but for now, it looks like that's pretty a, that's a sharp drop off. Where did that go? Uh, definitely sharp drop off in the deflation uh, in the uh, from the inflation. This is deflation here uh, overnight, but that's still. If you look here at the general trend, that's still a upward momentum here of this inflation graph. This is the past 30 days, and uh, you can see we got these periodic quiet zones where it deflates, or at least you get a little bit of deflation here. 
inflation and then it looks like we're coming back down maybe into a deflation event and it should rise back up this has been a little trend here at Kilauea volcano for a little while but we'll continue to watch that uh, webcams out there still show some volcanic gases uh, kicking up out there across the lava lake area but i'm not really too concerned about that the earthquake activity has been confined for the most part um, across the area south of the summit region which is within this zone right here let me pull up the last week uh, this area right here and we've been noticing some earthquakes um, down there around one to two sometimes a little bit deeper uh, kilometers below the surface and uh, the inflation has been obviously up and down uh, but I'm thinking that we're going to be leaning towards more of a some fissure activations out here potentially in this area uh, so we'll definitely watch that here in the future as that's a very active volcano 4.0 coming into the Alaska area false pass Alaska well outside of that area it looks like 6.9 kilometers deep here as uh, far as the New Zealand area goes, let's double check that and see what's going on. Uh, GeoNet servers right here. Looks like 2.7 an hour ago. Where's that 4.0? Underneath. Oh, this is pretty deep here. That's 149 kilometers underneath the North Island area. That more than likely that's associated with, uh, even though. The Taupo Super Volcanic Range there uh, is within that zone. It uh, I could have something to do with the Hikurangi Subduction Zone. Uh, let's see, 57 minutes ago. A couple other smaller earthquakes in there as well overnight, looks like. Bring up the earthquake drums and see what we have. There's that four-pointer coming in right now to the majority of the stations um, within the last hour. Uh, definitely showing up pretty nicely there across North Island. Handful of smaller quakes as well overnight. Definitely looking like uh, New Zealand wants to uh, partake in some of the activity. I believe it does need to catch up out here. We've seen a whole lot of movement north and south of this area, but specifically along this plate boundary, only a handful of uh, you know somewhat smaller quakes. But long range, far as uh, we were to pull back the last couple months or so, there's really i mean we've seen some earthquake activity outside of wellington here uh, but far as the typical uh, plate adjustment here in this region we just really haven't seen it so i'm still kind of watching the new zealand area uh, for some larger scale movement than these little threes and fours that we're seeing uh, further let's see there's an activity there across the java trench from this morning that's a 5.2 up into the japan area really haven't seen too much more today this is all from yesterday a couple fours and fives the earthquake swarm that was taking place here uh within the last couple weeks has completely disappeared uh, a little bit of activity across the middle east here today the latest one shows a uh, uh 4.5 in the caspian sea region the mediterranean areas pretty quiet on this map down here into the red sea region ethiopia 4.5 that's off of the plate boundary though uh looks like just south or uh yeah to the west of this plate boundary a little bit of movement kicking up there today it looks like and the divergent boundary uh let's see what the mediterranean looks like here looks like some twos and some older quakes from yesterday not a whole lot there today atlantic ocean pretty calm and clear for now continue to watch uh watch the activity and see what happens today new zealand definitely lighten up here so keep an eye on that area uh for some movement like i mentioned uh, they need to catch up here in terms of plate adjustment uh not a whole lot of flaring going on we're still below the sea flare category if you can believe that dipping down into the very low and calm regions of the b class that's um uh, that's just what it is for now. We are headed towards solar maximum, but it doesn't look like it. At least in terms of the last few days, sunspots have been um, pretty small and, and fairly stable. A look at the magnetogram of the sunspot regions. This is the most recent image here. Shows uh, 
couple little wimpy sunspots, but that's about it. I don't really see anything coming around the eastern limb either. Normally we'll see some active regions sparking out here, some bright features, but goodness, there's not a whole lot going on on the sun right now. Did see a little bit of KP index uptick last night with some auroras peeking into the uh, the polar regions, but not a whole lot. Maybe up around the uh, 3 or 4 KP index range there. Uh, and that could be the deal tonight as well as we head into uh, the darker hours. We could see a little bit of uptick there at the polar regions for the solar storms, but I don't see anything big on the horizon. Just uh, unfortunately, we're looking at some really quiet conditions here on the sun right now. Storm Prediction Center here on Earth. Not a whole lot of severe weather, just some uh, slight thunderstorm activity out there with no tornado potential, no wind, no hail damage potential out there. In terms of the uh, severe weather outlook today, pretty crazy, pretty calm conditions. Uh, looking at the GFS run here, do have some low pressure uh, conditions with some rain, lots of rain coming out here to the eastern portion of the country as we head into the weekend. Uh, Texas and Areas around Oklahoma and portions of Kansas up there are going to get some good rain right here from a tropical storm. Well, the remnants of it coming into the uh, Gulf of Mexico, that's going to scoot up here into these areas that do need some rainfall. They're still dealing with a little bit of drought, but this here is a, uh, that is a good system there. That's going to bring a whole bunch of rain to you guys. Hopefully kick you guys completely out of the drought. Uh, looking at a bunch of snow coming in behind this low pressure system. A lot of colder air coming down here. Uh, so we're talking about Yellowstone getting some snow. I've seen they closed a couple roads up here getting ready for the uh, the winter season. And um, that uh, looks like the West Coast going to get some storm systems as well as we head towards the end of October. That's fine by me. I uh, We need this rain and hopefully it stays like that. Either way, it's getting active here, folks. The weather will pick up as we get deeper into the winter months. I mean, it's technically only October. We've got November, December, a whole bunch of months coming up here of nice, cool weather. Uh, I wish it was like that all year round. But I guess i got to pick myself up and move somewhere where it's like that. Uh, anyway, all right, I'm going to jump off here. Have yourself a wonderful Thursday some of these seismograph stations have gone offline like my, Mount St. Helens for some reason. But we'll keep that up for now, see if anything changes. But I am going to keep New Zealand up here in the mix because I think it's important to kind of watch what's going on down there along that plate boundary. All right, guys. Have a good day. We'll see you guys back here a little bit later on this evening. Unless something major happens, take care.